Yo, yo, what's going on guys? David Levack, Modern Tech Philosopher, bringing you everything Apple versus PC related. I figured today in this video, I wanted to talk about a subject that is sort of a bit taboo. Sometimes people don't know if they should or if they shouldn't. And what I'm gonna be talking about is buying recertified or refurbished Apple products. Now, hey, I know what you're thinking. Buying recertified, buying refurbished, uh, I don't really know. Can I trust the guy? Can I trust the seller? Is their product gonna be scratched? Is it damaged? So many things that go into that. My own experience and my own sort of uh, stigma about that was many, many years ago, I worked for a uh, graphics card developing company. And what I saw through the RMA department was horrendous. People would buy uh, used graphics cards like on eBay or Craigslist. They'd uh, try to send it in to us for repair and we're like, what happened to this thing? It looks like someone just ran this over with a truck or you know, put it in a blacksmith's fire pit or something. So ever since then, I was a little bit uh, cautious when it came to buying recertified anything. And for many years, I didn't buy anything that was refurbished or recertified. I didn't want to take the chance. However, for the longest time, I really wanted an iMac, um, not only for the quality of the display, for a all-in-one system that can run OS X. Um, I have my MacBook, which is great for traveling, but I wanted something for a while that I could just plant down and work from home. Historically, iMacs were just extremely expensive, $3,000, $4,000, and that kind of money, you know, you could use that for a fully built custom rig PC, huge widescreen display, a nice keyboard, a nice mouse, nice headphones, speakers for all that same price that you would pay for an iMac. And for many years, that's what I did. I built custom PCs for myself or friends, uh, things like that, since I was a, a hobbyist and enthusiast. But this year I made the leap and I said, you know what, I'm gonna look at some iMacs, let's take a look. And I'm really happy that I went with the recertified model for the iMac. I purchased this guy right here off of a reseller on eBay and it came fully packaged. It came with the magic keyboard, magic mouse. Everything was in like mint condition. No scratches on the iMac, no scratches or dents on the mouse or the keyboard. It powered on just as expected. It came with um, OS 10.11, which I upgraded to OS Sierra, no problems. And above all else, it really changed my perspective when it came to buying recertified products. I think in this day and age, there are so many people that can give you value with a, a used or recertified computer system, whether it be Apple or PC. It's all about finding the right seller, looking at the reviews, emailing them, hitting them up on Instagram or Facebook, asking them questions. When you can build trust with that vendor, then it gives you a better opportunity to say to yourself, hmm, I think I may just go with this guy. The seller on eBay had a 99.5% uh, feedback rating. I was able to email him just a handful of times to ask questions, responded within 24 hours. So that made my decision for me. And I am pleased to say I've had this guy for two months, going on three months no issues, no weird overheating, no issues you know, booting up the computer, no issues with uh, the fan sounding clanky or about to break, no issues with heat, no weird sounds, nothing. For an iMac that normally would have cost me $2,500, maybe $2,800, I bought this guy for uh, $1,400 minus uh, tax and, and shipping. But you know, for like 14, 1500 bucks, Man, I was so, so happy that I did that. This isn't going to be a review of the iMac at all. It's basically my experience buying a recertified iMac um, because for me, it was about, can I trust the seller? And am I really going to be saving money or am I going to be spending more money because something broke? Hopefully that gave you guys a, a few tips, a few pointers if you were looking into buying a recertified iMac and maybe if you weren't really uh, faithful or trustful in the eBay Craigslist uh, arena. So to recap, if you're buying a recertified Apple product, especially an iMac, number one, look at the rating. Don't go with anything below 98%. If you can, stick with 99%. Number two is look at the price. See if the price is different amongst uh, eight or 10 different vendors. If you find one that's extremely cheap, it looks really you know shady, then you know see the reseller, look at their website. If they're on social media, hit them up, my DM. 
Because sometimes when a price is too low, you, you just have to be cautious. You have to worry about it. Last but not least, number three is look at the description. Look at the description in detail. Even though it says it has a uh, an iMac for sale, make sure that it comes with a keyboard, it comes with a mouse, and if it doesn't, the seller should at least tell you that, that hey, this product is only the iMac, no keyboard, no mouse, then look at comparable prices. If you see other vendors with the same percentage rating that do give you the keyboard and do give you the mouse, and it's the same price, you may have to go that route. But always view the description as in detail as possible. There's gonna be something in there that you'll find that really isn't gonna to speak to you. What I mean by that is sometimes the seller can leave out a few things and you don't know until you get the product in. Other times they will say something in the description and you're like, oh shit. Okay, maybe I shouldn't buy this one. Maybe I should look on to the next vendor. So those are my top three tips. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. If you wish to subscribe to my channel for future content, I will be delivering to you everything Apple versus PC related. Hit that subscribe button right here. Other than that, my name is David, Modern Tech Philosopher. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Peace.